Hi everyone, I've been asked to make a short video um, on how to make a necklace for RLC using GIMP. So here goes. First of all, what we want to do is open up GIMP. Now, what I would advise you all to do is do a search on Google uh, for jewellery, necklaces, etc. And you will find a, uh, brushes like, and you will find a heap of them that are all on deviant art and such like. So first, what we want to do is open up our files and you go into your um, downloads designer kit UB maps and then what we want to do is upper body nude open that now make sure that the image scale is 1024 and then just bring it up to about 100 as you can see that gives you a good view here now I always lower the opacity a bit and next you want to go into white and down here you will see all my brushes I've got but um, I'm just going to look for uh, a necklace one just for this but I mean you can make your own you can find necklaces etc on Google and then you just cut them out using your fuzzy select tool etc and making sure you're on transparent uh, then but for just for this quick and easy t tutorial I'm just going to find my necklaces now there's earrings uh, bear with me guys I've got so many brushes in here now there's quite a pretty one we'll use that and then just using this go over and you scale up your brush that's too much like so right uh, maybe not maybe not so just control Z just to delete all that it's the quickest way let's have another look Oh, here's a pretty one that we can use and I'll show you how to make a chain real quick for that. But like I say, it's a good idea just to um, find as many brushes as you can, you know, with different ideas and such like. And then up here we go to the circle chain. As you can see, that's way too big. But what I want to do here is maybe bring it up to four. No, a bit more. Yeah, to 10. Yeah, that'll do. And then down here, you go to your spacing and you bring it up quite a bit. Oh, see what I've done there? I put that on that layer and I shouldn't have done. So, we just go back. Always remember to work in layers and add layers. That was a bit silly of me. but So I'll have to find that again. But for now, we'll just do the chain for now. So, go back to spacing and just test that. Now, that's too much spacing. So we'll edit it, we'll go down a bit, still a bit too much, if you want them joined up, that should do pretty nicely, maybe have just a bit more, yep that's perfect. Now the simplest way I've found to do this is go over here and grab this paths tool and then you just click there and there and drag it down a bit, and remember you don't want it perfect because that'll just look a bit big so bring it just over to the left or the right a bit and then if you go to your stroke path go into stroke with paint tool and stroke and you can see you've got a nice even setting there and then again just go up to here if you're not sure just zoom in so you can see what you're doing and then just take that up a bit stroke stroke and you can see now you've got a nice little chain now what you want to do is duplicate that so that you can see what you're doing remove just um, hide your mesh for the time being now this top layer you're going to colorize invert and then you bring it down under the white one move it over a bit 
and then just using your keys on your keyboard you just want to move it over and down a bit this just gives it a bit of lift so that it lifts it off the skin and then just merge these down and remember you can add your own little pieces like um, clasps and all sorts at the back here but this is just a basic video showing you how to make a necklace then we'll add another layer and then we'll go in here and we'll go find that brush that bunny brush I had it's down here somewhere uh, where is it I will just use this one for the time being bring up the size a bit and again remember you can scale this down if it looks too big just go to your scale tool make sure those um, chain links are closed and then just scale it down that looks pretty good and to give it an authentic look again add a new layer paintbrush go back up grab your chain link tool and down to 10 again and then just add in a little chain there duplicate it Col no, not colorize invert because it's white so you'll get away with that bring it down hide that come over a bit perfect Again, you can merge this down, merge those two down because that's your chain link. And if you're not sure, just click on the icon. And if you make a mistake, just control Z will fix all you'll delete it all that for you. Filters, enhance, sharpen because with jewelry, you want it looking quite sharp. And then just bring that up a bit. Yep, that looks okay. And then for your piece here, again, duplicate it. Colors in part. Bring it down. And then bring it over a bit. And that just gives it enough. And you can blur that a little bit just to make it more like a shadow. And there you have it. Now you can add your own little effects like stars. Let's go add some stars to this. Um, brush tool, keep it on white. And you can see I've got loads of brushes here for stars. That one might be pretty. Use that one, bring it up a bit. And just add a star here and there. And then duplicate it invert bring it down click on it move it over just down a bit merge it down and then sharpen it you can see that really sharpens it up and gives it a nice effect and then like i say just export as desktop i'm just going to put necklace Make sure it's saved as a PNG. And th this idea you can work with jewellery that you find on the internet and you want to use. or um, But it's a good idea to try and make your own. Because it has your own stamp on it. And let, again, like I say, let's just go. Come on. <laughs> Sorry guys, my internet's a bit slow this morning. We've got bad weather here, so. Click on create. 
new style. Now this could be male or female, whichever you are, but just remember to use a different mesh for the male. And torso nude. Now you can put this either on your sex layer, tattoo layer or whatever. Now I'm just going to put it on the sex layer for now. And then we browse. But you can put it on both. Right, there's the necklace there. Open. And always test every piece. It's a good idea. Test it on your avatar in world. in we shall see it and zoom into your avatar so that you can get a good idea there you see it there we have it and you can see we've got a nice shadow there and that looks good that's turned out nice so guys that is how you make your necklace and like I say just use your own imagination use different brushes for making the chains like and the same for the pendants, the stars. Add your own little touches. Okay, that's it for now.